Appreciate you clicking on this review. I just got back from watching Saw X. And with this 10th installment in the Saw franchise, we follow for the first time ever Tobin Bell, John Kramer, directly after the events of the first Saw movie, where he discovers an experimental practice in Mexico that could possibly cure his cancer. John Kramer spends the last of his money in hopes that this could cure him, only to realize it was a scam the entire time. From here, John Kramer will do what he does best and get his sweet sweet revenge and that's all pretty much today without getting any spoilers you guys this will be a spoiler free review i will be making a spoiler review so stay tuned for that but sticking spoiler free for now the saw franchise i've been reviewing the past nine movies here on the channel and it's been a fun drive down memory lane i've been a huge fan of this franchise ever since me and my dad were watching the movies every year in theaters and while i understand the saw movies aren't exactly like great horror films i was always hooked in by the overarching story they would follow every sequel would reveal some new information about John Kramer, we'd get interesting characters, cool little feuds would happen, but then the last three Saw movies happened and they just kind of were jumbled, jumping around everywhere. They tried ending the franchise, didn't work out, they tried soft rebooting it with a whole new story and an unknown apprentice in the background, didn't work out, so then they went the spin-off route, don't know if we'll ever see that again. Now they're jumping all the way back to the events of the first Saw movie with John Kramer finally a main character. So when all that was announced, I was like, I don't think I'm excited. Dang, first Saw movie I could care less about. But then Saw does what it does best, that trailer, the premise. I was like, oh, I'm hooked. I'm hooked. This better be good. Don't trick me. And oh my freaking goodness, they did it. We're back, baby. Saw is awesome again. As a Saw fan, I love this movie. It did everything that I was missing from the Saw franchise and was desperately wanting it to go back to. Starting off with my positives for this movie is you could just feel that they were trying desperately to get all the Saw fans back, and it worked. Director Kevin Gruitt here, who directed Saw 6, a sequel I really like, but then also did Saw 3D, a movie I kind of hate in the franchise, he captured all those little Saw-isms that you would want from a classic Saw movie, from its grungy style, its cinematography, but even with that, there is something almost new and refreshing about the look and feel of this movie, because it still looks like a classic Saw movie, but the way the story is played out and the focus on John Kramer from like the opening and beginning of this movie, it felt very refreshing. The pacing of this Saw movie is very different from the pacing of past Saw films. Sometimes they just jump you right in to a trap or what's going on and they'd rush through the plot point of these scammers, you know, scamming John Kramer from a BBL. The movie shies away from that and actually takes its time. It's a little slow going in the beginning, but I mean that in a good way. We get to breathe life with John Kramer the person, not Jigsaw the maniac. From his doctor visits to dealing with, you know, his cancer, losing hope, finding out like I only have so much time left, to then seeing this glimmer of hope that maybe there's something out there that can cure him. It's the movie taking its time for almost the first 30-40 minutes that makes the payoff of the rest of the movie so much more worth it. Because Saw X does something that a lot of the movies lost along the way is the emotion and the feel for the characters. There's something that happens when you get to like the ninth, 10th installment in a horror franchise. The horror fans are now starting to root for Freddy Krueger, Chucky, Michael Myers, because they just keep introducing recycled lame main characters. You go in to see the latest Halloween because it's like, I want to see Michael take down some people in a fun way. That's really what I'm here for. He's the star to me. But the moral dilemma you're going to face as an audience member watching this actually feeling bad for John Kramer and the situation he's put in where you're like, dude, you're messed up. You do some questionable things. Your logic isn't always there. But get to work, because we want to see you get revenge. And through the course of his revenge, you are just bouncing back and forth from, okay, maybe these people deserve it? Nah, they don't deserve that. Nah, John, you're kind of crazy. John, you might be doing the right thing here. Like, that's what made this movie so fun. You're teeter-tottering with actually feeling bad for John Kramer, seeing him as a good person when it's like... Do we remember what he does the rest of the franchise? While I also think Saw X is pretty friendly to like first time Saw viewers, you don't have to watch the entire nine film series to understand Saw X. You really only have to watch the first two Saw movies to get a good grasp of this one. But even then, this movie hits like all the right notes for longtime fans and first time viewers. The addition of Amanda being thrown back in here, played by Shawnee Smith, 
Wow, I did not expect her to add so much into the movie. I've always been a fan of the Amanda character, and this movie deals a lot with that Jigsaw apprentice relationship that they have, and kind of getting ready to teach her the ropes for whenever John eventually passes away, maybe she could take up the mantle of Jigsaw. And while that mentor relationship is great, Amanda also brought a lot of fun comedy to the movie. Whenever Spiral from the Book of Saw was coming out, one of the biggest like marketing pushes or draws that the director or creative team were talking about is like, this is a fun funny Saw movie. Saw has never been funny. There's not really a lot of jokes or humor in the film, which wouldn't make sense. A pretty grotesque series, right? But Saw X manages to be funny in its own way, from like the sly lines of dialogue of John Kramer saying what he does. He's like, oh, I, you know, I'm kind of like a life coach. Doesn't say it exactly like that, but those kind of conversations will get you a giggle. Amanda is actually really funny in here. Just a subtle kind of humor in the way she's trying to tell these victims that like, you're gonna want want to listen to the rules trust me it made the movie feel a lot more fun when getting onto the traps very grotesque and bloody exactly what you would want from saw since the games also are taking place in mexico the added flavor of like the mexican environment was also very fun to me it added on to making it feel slightly different from past saw movies where things seem to get repetitive but the best part of these traps is that they're john kramer jigsaw traps because if you're a fan of the franchise you know as the series went on, we got unwinnable traps, traps where someone is forced to die. It like just didn't become as fun. These are the fun saw traps where the victim has a chance to live as long as they play by the rule. And that's always what's made saw fun. Even better that the people who are in the traps feel deserving of the punishment they're in. I always hate it in other saw movies where really innocent or like simple little mistakes people made caused them to be in such horrific pain. Made the franchise feel more cruel and nasty than fun. But all in all, once we get to like the third act of this movie, I was blown away. It's like one of the best third acts of any Saw film. And many of you, when you hear that, you're expecting, oh, then this twist is going to be mind blowing. The twist is fine. I'm not going to say the twist in this movie is mind blowing. It was satisfying, but that isn't what made the third act of this Saw movie so awesome. It was because of the development and the performance from Tobin Bell as John Kramer to then the relationship he was having with these scammers and what he plotted up. It was just... It all came to a close in such a satisfying way. And that's like just the best way to describe Saw X. Satisfying. It feels like such a self-contained one and done story. There is a mid credit scene, but even the mid credit scene enhances the story. It's not something really where it's like, Thanos is gonna be in the new Jigsaw trap next time. It's not like that, and that's what I really liked about Saw X. So really, if I had to like talk about negatives or things I'm mixed with, uh, there's not much. It's really just like nitpicky stuff. As you know, most Saw or Jigsaw traps are very meticulously planned, where like things have to go the way Jigsaw thought in his mind, or else... <laughs> It's just not going to work. And there's definitely things you can pick at here where it's like, how did John know it was going to happen that way? Or how did he know this was going to happen? Or like, that's a stretch. But it's such a minor loose complaint that I don't think it'll ruin the movie for you. All in all, I'm just happy to be on the Saw train again, excited for whatever they do with this franchise. So with Saw X, I'm going to give action three stars in here. Like I said, for the first 30, 40 minutes, a lot of yapping, but it's good yapping, okay? It's character development. It's you living with Jigsaw, meeting these scammers, seeing his situation. It is all worth it for the payoff by the end. Comedy in the movie, I'm actually going to give it two and a half stars and that's pretty big for a Saw movie. They've never been particularly funny films but Amanda has me laughing in here. There's a couple of like subtle lines that only longtime Saw fans are just going to be giggling at. It was a great sprinkle of humor in this dark situation. Drama in the movie, I'm going to give it four stars. I loved the story they threw in here and this moral dilemma where they made me actually feel bad for Jigsaw the psychopath. I saw him as like a sweet old man and I rooted for him through this movie and that's just like amazing that they pulled that off hard in the movie i'm gonna give it three stars the traps in here are pretty scary they even spend a lot of time showing you the pig nappings and that's always something kind of fun in the movie i think you're definitely going to be squealing and cringing at some of the gore in here but hey that's a good thing in my opinion and suspense the movie i'm gonna give it three and a half stars i think more of the suspense comes towards the end of the film because you're like wait what is happening what's going on and then whoa what the heck casual fans into the saw world 
World, I'm going to give it a B plus. Cinephiles, I'm going to give it an A minus. And critically, a B plus. I think Saw X is definitely a movie worth adding to your collection at home. That's a keeper. Yes. I can't wait to get into spoilers with you guys because I just want to gush about the specific things that made this movie so worth it for me. But let me know what you guys thought about Saw X. If you got around to seeing it, your favorite moments, your least favorite moments, where you think they could take the franchise now. Anything and everything, be sure and like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.